air catheter booths a little busy. A little bit busy. Yeah. Usually that, everybody hears Donna when she's out there. That's true. <laughs> that's true. He's probably walking over right he as we speak. probably is right now. Our political insiders, Tony May, Charlie Giroux, here to talk about election, and we'll start in Harrisburg tonight. Well, I think the one thing that you t the takeaway from your live coverage, but also my, what I noticed today at the polls, many, many more poll workers, advocates for candidates than there were voters. Uh, they seemed like there was two people or three people telling you who to vote for for every person who was actually going to vote. It, it does underscore the importance of voting, and if anybody doesn't like the way the election turns out, they know who to blame. They could just look in the mirror. Mm -hmm. If they didn't vote, sure enough, and that seems to be the talk, the low vote. Yeah, this is here. the downstroke of the four-year cycle, extremely low turnout, and we have a really unusual situation here in with the candidacies lined up the way they are. Dan Miller, a Democrat who took the Republican line in the primary. Aaron Johnson, a writing candidate. I mean, if you're getting Shady McCoy's endorsement on the day of mm -hmm. election, you're for real. So this could be an interesting uh, evening. I think Papenfuss is the front runner, but a lot could happen here. It's going to depend on whether people follow the traditional voting patterns. I mean, Harrisburg has traditionally been a Democratic walkover in the fall, but this could be a little like interesting. Like you said, that got muddied up, though, because Dan Miller, the Democrat, it's on the Republican ticket that right. we've got these write-ins. Do you think the write-ins stand a, a better chance this time around? Johnson, you event? know, obviously is a serious candidate. I don't think the other write-in candidate is, but Aaron Johnson clearly is a serious candidate. It's going to be, you know, a fun time to watch tonight. And people at the polling place asking you to vote for him and being able to instruct you on how to vote for him if you were, if you wanted to. All right. Any uh, predictions on, on the race for Harrisburg mayor? Are we going to wait for we'll, tonight? We'll, we'll get one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, we'll get one. <laughs> okay. Well, that's the truth. All right. We'll move on uh, to Cumberland County. Folks in Carlisle are electing their first mayor in years. Uh, we have <clears throat> three people on the ballot tonight, uh, independent, Republican, and a Democrat. Uh, any idea how this will go? Again, a tight race. Doc Cronenberg, the incumbent, I think prevails tonight, but it will be another down-to-the-wire finish uh, in Carlisle. Evenly matched registration-wise. You have an incumbent in office. Probably gives him a little bit of an advantage. Tim I, Scott, I the Democrat. Democrat. <coughs> I, I think it's an up, an up, it is an uphill fight, and I agree with Charlie. I think that Dr. Cronenberg will... We call him Dr. Cronenberg, so I guess he'll... <laughs> All right, well, you were teasing me earlier about the Tea Party Democrat in the Virginia governor's race, Charlie. Uh, how do you think that race is going to turn out, though? Because that's got a lot of national... It, it, it does. Right it's now. a very, very tight race. Only two states have off-year gubernatorial elections. New Jersey, where Chris Christie is going to win by a very wide margin. And Virginia, where Terry McAuliffe, the former chairman of the Democratic National Committee, is ahead in the polls. But this race, I think, is still too close to call probably goes to McAuliffe, but it'll be a tight one. Was that, that was by a really small margin. Mm -hmm. like yeah, the, the margin has yeah. been shrinking, which so. is always good news for the guys in second place. Yeah, All right, go. and still time to head on out to vote because so few people yes. are voting. Uh, the right. results are going to be very close tonight, they are. probably. And it's All a right. nice evening, so get out there and vote. All right, you can catch our political insiders, Tony May, Charlie Giroux, every Tuesday right here on CBS 21 News at 530.